Greetings from Tromaville. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma Entertainment and creator of the Toxic Avenger. You know, folks, I've got 10 fingers, but I'm going to be watching Tony with nine, uh, whatever it is, and he's he's uh, unbelievable. you got to stay tuned. What is going on, people? Day number 16 of the 31 Days Hath October series that I have on this channel right now. For those of you who don't know what it is, check out the days before. Pretty much, it's 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days. I'm not the only one who's doing it, so check the description and you'll find out other... Uh, what do you want to call it, other channels who are doing it as well. I'm doing a little bit different. I'm doing more independent movies, and I'm doing them in alphabetical order. So the letter P is up today. So for those of you who didn't read the title, the movie I'm doing is Poultrygeist. Poultrygeist is directed by Lloyd Kaufman. It's written by Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Friedman. Daniel Bova, among others. Also, it stars Jason Yakinen, Kate Graham, Allison Sereboff. Hopefully I said those names right. I probably did. I'm horrible with pronunciation, among many others. So pretty much right off the bat, I got to tell you, this is a trauma movie. So you might ask, well, Troma has is a lower budget company that has off-the-wall stuff, but fun stuff at the same time. You know, they're movies, they'll keep you entertained, they're off-the-wall, they got some crazy-ass ideas, but again, it, it you can tell a trauma movie, and you it has its cult following. Some people might not like it as much, but me, I love them, and like I said, they have their own flavor to them. So anyway, Poultrygeist, it's Poultrygeist, Night of the Chicken Dead, so that should tell you straight off the bat. So pretty much, the story revolves around our main character, his ex-girlfriend, or there's a love interest. There's an ex-girlfriend slash they don't know what's going on, and then money, many others. So pretty much what happens is there's a chicken spot, a new fast food restaurant that gets built on top of this ancient Indian burial ground. And there's a whole bunch of people in the town that are against it. They're picketing outside, and pretty much they don't want, I guess, bad juju or whatever you want to call it on this town by doing such a thing. Not only are they, you know, against killing animals, but now it's on top of this Indian burial ground, and now they're afraid of, you know, the ramifications and what could happen with this. So anyway, the love story comes into play. They break up the main character and his girlfriend, and she's kind of now seeing one of these protesters. So pretty much to get back at him, back at her, he ends up getting a job at this place, and now he's in this area. You come to find out that the chicken, uh, some of these supposedly dead chickens are now moving around and doing their own thing kind of deal. You find out that they are now possessed by these ancient spirits of these Indians that, you know, this place was taken over. And as they're doing this, who's ever eaten this chicken is getting sick and, you know, kind of getting taken over. And now these people are turning in to chickens and all this, this is crazy, craziness going on. So pretty much it's just a survival type thing where you're trying to stay alive in this crazy night of chickens coming back to the, from the dead and infecting people, turning them into chickens. Trust me, it sounds ridiculous. It is ridiculous, but it's a fun time. Like I said, if you're into trauma movies, this one, if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out already. If you haven't seen it, if you're into fun movies, again, it's, it's I guess trauma movies, most of them are a, an acquired taste. But if you're looking for something fun, if you're looking for something entertaining, if you're looking for something that'll just keep your interest and keep your mind throughout the entire movie... This one will. Again, it's completely out there, but it'll keep your interest. It's one of those movies you're like, am I watching what I'm really watching and kind of stuff? But it's it'll keep your attention all the way through. So if you haven't checked this one out, definitely check it out. Again, all my other stuff, I'll leave a trailer for the movie. I'll leave a website or a link to where you can purchase the movie, as well as all the criteria and everything I talked about, or every person that's in it, I'll leave uh, that IMDb description I guess you want to call it so this one was a little bit quicker because again I can't explain everything because it's all zany off the wall so just check it out if you haven't already hopefully you're enjoying this whole 31 days hopefully you're seeing movies you've never seen before or heard of before or whatever have you so check out all the stuff like I said check out the description for anybody else who's doing this 31 days these 
31 reviews in 31 days. Check all their channels out. Check out my other, you know, 15 videos of the other movies I did, as well as everything else that I have. I have all the links to all my other, or at least the, you know, the names of all my other social media. I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me. I got a Twitter. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a horror amino. I'm part of the dorketing, which tomorrow night, if you know anything about horror and up-and-coming Directors and actresses. Well, we have two people on Destiny Orndor. Orndor, and I can't even say her last name. And Tristan Clay. We will have them two on talking about Red Eye. So get ready for that. If you're excited for that, check us out tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought. But also, I got a that new Stardust app where you do mini reviews, like 30 second reviews. I got that. And uh, yeah, just check the description. You'll see everything I have. Again, hopefully you're enjoying this. Hopefully you checked it out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand by the end of a thousand subscribers by the end of this month. If not, you know it's all right. But if I do get a thousand, I'll do a uh, nice giveaway. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So until next time, I'll see you. If you found the review you just watched enlightening and you want more of them. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button in the corner, and check out all the other reviews I have, such as Horror Pack Reviews and Netflix and Chiller. If you want to check out all the other things I have, go ahead and check out my Instagram, where I show off the movies I have behind me. Or check out my Twitter, where I post all my videos and more. If you want to do that, go ahead, hit those buttons, and until next time, I'll see you.